Hello and welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. I'm your host, Gabe Peterson, and this is the place investors go to gain actionable advice, learn about current market trends, and hear war stories from other professional investors out there in the field today. Before we get started, I have two quick housekeeping items for you. First, if you like this episode, we would very much appreciate a like, subscribe, and share. It is the best way to support the show and keep it running far into the future. Second, if you're a new investor looking to get started in real estate or an experienced investor looking to take your investing to the next level, I've created an ebook just for you that will cover how to find deals that are actually deals, how to finance those deals with little to no money down, and how to exit those deals for maximum value. On top of that, I throw in an insane amount of free bonuses that you'll have access to once you buy the ebook. All I charge is our admin costs to keep this show running. So if you're serious about real estate investing and want to create both active and passive income as an investor, head on over to the website at therealestateinvestingclub.com and click on the button that says, get the ebook in the upper right-hand corner to grab yourself a copy. With that said, let's dive right in. Today, we have a very special guest with us ready to drop some investor knowledge on you. So buckle up, grab your pen and paper and enjoy the ride. All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. Today we have with us Ala Romanava. Ala is an architect by trade and has gained valuable experience in the New York real estate arena after graduating Columbia University with an MS in construction administration. Since then, she's been managing residential and commercial projects on behalf of developers and property owners before taking the lead in her own 3D visualization venture, AO Design Labs, which is a visualization studio that designs and creates virtual content for real estate professionals. I've seen this kind of stuff before, and I'm really excited to get into it. So, Ala, thank you very much for hopping on the show today. How are you? Hi, Gabriel. I'm doing fine today, and I'm glad to see you. And thank you for welcoming me today uh, yep. to your podcast. Let's, Absolutely. let's chat. Let's chat about real estate. Let's do it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, and I told all of this before the show, but I have to apologize for everybody listening and watching. If you guys hear a hammer or a drill, it's because I am working from home and there is electrical work being done. And so there's people around, they're doing their work. Um, I'm going to try to cut it out before I actually release this. But if you hear it, don't worry about it. We're just going to talk right through it. We're so, in construction Allah. and real estate, right? Yeah, it come on. This is a real estate, estate show. This, <laughs> you this should expect that estate. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's perfect. <laughs> yep. Uh, so all of, we always start with stories. We like to hear how people got started in real estate. So why don't you take us way back to the beginning? How did you get started? So basically, as you said, I'm an architect by trade and I immigrated from Russia, from St. Petersburg, where I got my first master's degree. So I was driven by the opportunity to go to the United States to move and to get my second master's right from renowned universities such as Columbia University. And back then, everything used to be like about design, like an architectural field that I got to know that there is a construction part, right, like that with me many stakeholders involved. And also there is the third part, which is, which is a financial part. So basically I keep going, I keep learning. And basically while I was working for one of the developers, um, there was one building. So basically they acquired a parcel of land and they were looking for investors. And it was in a close proximity right in the center of New York and Madison Avenue to a historical um, uh, library. So basically, in order to look for developers and advertise the product, we had to create like a rendering, like a game plan of how the future building is, is going to look like uh, based on the massing design that uh, we did in-house before we actually hired the real architect firm, you know, that developed like a real project. So basically it was a good way to present this to potential investors to create partnerships. And basically this was the time when I realized uh, the value of 3D virtual content and how it helps real estate in different um, directions. 
Cool. I love it. So you uh, mm -hmm. you got started in Russia in St. Petersburg. I've actually always yeah. wanted to go over there. It looks like such a pretty uh, city. More than you're more than welcome, especially in June when we have white nights. This is the best time to go and visit. Perfect. A lot oh. of real estate projects are um, breaking ground as well. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. There's a lot of development going yeah, on in but, St. Petersburg. Yeah. Um, see, uh, yes, yes. But actually over there, because it's a very like cultural city, so we act for preservation, right? Like, so we have to keep and maintain like the overall look, uh, architectural unity, etc. So um, in every real estate area, there are certain uh, rules uh, of the game. Nice. And you're talking about even aesthetic rules, like they have to they have to conform to a certain type uh, of, of so look. For sure. You have to comply with different rules. One of the rules are like the height rules, right? So basically yep. the city was designed initially like a very, very horizontal um, uh, thing, like with vertical dominance. So basically we try to keep it. So basically there are very um, um, very exact uh, compliance in terms of the height of the buildings, how they look. Uh, we don't go usually for um, solid glass facades buildings. So a very, very interesting area. That's cool. Yeah, I, I'm, I've always been interested in uh, in city planning because you go to some cities and they just look like a hodgepodge of just just crap. Not no offense to those cities. I'm not going to name names, but then there's other cities and they they obviously there was a planner behind it and it just looks beautiful. It sounds like Saint Petersburg is one of them. So you said June. I'm definitely going to have to hop over during June and uh, uh, check out. Now, as the borders as the borders are start are starting to open up. I think you can book your ticket for a really good price and hop on the plane uh, in a couple <laughs> <All of right. laughs> months. <laughs> awesome fingers. Um, awesome. Well, so you, you started in St. Petersburg, and then you came over here and you got your your degree in uh, um, what was it, the Columbia University, so in New York City, and you were working um, for a developer, which kind of got you into the three D design space. Um, so, sure. you know, I've never, I'm, I haven't done ground up development. Um, I've done flips and I understand the use cases for a software like this. Um, one of my friends is actually really good at it. And the things that he creates is just like, it's just, I don't know, jaw dropping because he can take a flip that he does. He can create a 3D model. And then when, you know, somebody wants to buy his property, he can actually use that as a marketing tool. And obviously it sells faster because mm -hmm. this person can walk through the property themselves. I mean, come on, that's easy from their, from their couch. That's a, it's an easy sell so right there. I'm really glad that we are on the same terms. So we are, you understand as well, you know, a little bit like of uh, what we do. So basically, yes, you are absolutely right. We create a virtual content. It can be an existing building or also the building or the real estate space that doesn't exist. So for uh, some spaces that do exist, right, you can do like virtual staging in terms of the rendering, right, a still picture that will show your future space. Uh, there are also some applications like 360 rendering, right, when you can just sit on the one point and just turn your head around and walk through the space. Um, I actually just recently uh, opened up for myself, discovered actually Matterport Pro 2 camera. So basically it's a certain manufacturer that creates a 360 cameras and they scan the space. Hmm. And um, the same day you can get like a 3D model and send it to your potential, uh, to people, to potential buyers, right? Hmm. Like to people, for, for example, you sell a home, you just flipped a home, right? Like you did, you did a very nice setting, created like a 360 scanning model, and you can just send uh, this to like multiple potential clients without like actually scheduling um, home visits and open yep. houses. And it's very time efficient, right? Um, you can measure, you can walk through, etc so it's very very it comes in to be very very handy gotcha and uh, mm -hmm. so um i mean i'm just you know while you're talking i'm kind of thinking you know people listening watching you know you have some flippers that listen um some ground up developers you know how are they going to be able to use something like this in their business um it sounds like it'd be super useful for for marketing for sales um, and so basically you're just saying you would take, you'd buy a 360 degree camera, put it in your rooms, and then the, the software would do it, you know, do everything. Yeah, but you. in this case, you have to make sure that the building, uh, and the space is fully set up, 
So because mm. the way the camera 360 camera depicts the space, this is how it's going to appear on your video, mm. right? On your 3D virtual walkthrough. If we're talking about such a thing like 3D virtual uh, tour that is uh, created from scratch for non-existent real estate space, in this case, you are able to get creative, to make different change, to, uh, to make different changes uh, to your design and to the space, right? Because it doesn't exist yet. But in terms of uh, the developers, we also had such a project, like it was in New Rochelle, New, New York, and the it was a rental building. It was still under construction. And basically they knew that as per the schedule, they would just finish by the end of the year. And they wanted to get uh, uh, leases in place and started to market the property while they were just uh, continuing, continuing on doing uh, interior renovations. And basically we did several uh, renderings. Um, they were not even like uh, 3D virtual walkthroughs and uh, like all the amenity spaces, uh, the building facade, how the living room is going to look like, how the bedroom is going to look like. So basically they advertised this and they got uh, uh, several clients even before they signed the TCO. Wow, that's awesome. And so mm -hmm. this, uh, it sounds like you have to, you stage your property and then you do, um, you set it up and you do the 3D pictures and you- Yeah, you know. especially, you know, like it's a very strange feeling and a very un unprecedented situation because I think uh, COVID and pandemic situation for my business, especially, um, it was a good situation to happen because basically yeah. uh, we people aren't going out and doing yeah, yeah they, walkers. so basically now because uh, we provide such a services with such a services you can go to places where you don't have access to mm -hmm. and you basically access spaces just sitting on your couch from your home yeah and I think it's very time efficient you don't risk your health and it's safe and basically you can um, if for example, right? Like if you go to the space for the first time, maybe you don't recognize and you don't realize and you don't pick on some details. But if you have uh, virtual content, you can go back to it like over and over again. Gotcha. That makes uh, sense. And I was even thinking like, so I, um, when I first got started in real estate, I was doing flips. And, you know, when I did okay. that, I would have to walk through all these houses and, you know, take pictures and then go back and look at the, all the pictures. I'd miss things. Um, how easy is it to to do this? Because, I mean, what was going through the, my mind is a flipper uses this, takes this little 360 camera, just each room, mm -hmm. snap, takes a picture, snap, takes a picture, snaps, takes a picture. And then he can, you know, take that back and use it, um, you know, in his in creating a scope of work for for his flip. Is that is it sure, easy or like, do you got to have uh, like a, a super nice, you know, $10 million camera to, to get it done? No, it's not $10 million camera, right? Like, and it's very easy to deploy. And I think this is a great advantage of this. Uh, but this is, again, in terms of the places that are ready to go. Um, or for construction managers, I think this is a very good thing to use for liability purposes. For example, right, like uh, construction construction manager at risk always risks his reputation and his budget, right? Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this 360 camera, even if you film uh, the process of construction, you can also use this to, def to defend yourself uh, later on if the uh, um, any legal case comes up. So that basically, it's a perfect way to the to the document uh, what was going on, and also, for example, if you do flips, right? Like you uh, come in into the space that really needs gut renovation and full demo. So basically, I just did it yesterday. I just uh, filmed the apartment that is the subject for a flip, and basically from this Matterport uh, 3D virtual walkthrough that I created, I can do takeoffs and uh, basically being a construction manager. I can create the takeoff and the budget and present it to potential client. So we can do value engineering and define the overall budget for the project. Cool, man. I'm loving it. You already sold me. Um, <laughs> so do you have any, I'm curious, do you have any like statistics when it comes to conversion rates? You know, people who list their properties without a 3D rendering and then people who list it with a 3D rendering. Is there, do you have like hard, hard evidence for this? 
You know, the 3D virtual uh, field um, is expected to grow like in, um, like eight times by the year 2030. No, I believe that. And sure. uh, significantly, if you use 3D virtual materials, you decrease uh, the time of the mar on the market like by 50%. You can create a very mm. effective strategic marketing uh, sales structure and approach different clients and new prospects. And I think this is uh, this is a kind of a trend that was uh, that used to exist even before COVID, but uh, this pandemic situation actually triggered. I personally think really triggered creative thinking and some of the trends, they accelerated. Very and cool. I think that uh, later on, it will be it will become an essential tool uh, that will be used really um, like everywhere in real estate. Yeah, no, I mean, I can I can think of a bunch of use, use cases myself. Um, you know, we mm -hmm. yeah, me and my partners, we do mobile home RV parks. There's not a lot of 3D ness going there. Uh, mm -hmm. But it would be even it would even so it'd still be nice to be able to take a, uh, you know, a 3D picture um, in the middle mm -hmm. of the park. And so you can just kind of pop in, have a have a look around and see sure. Um, sure. what a park feels like, you know, even um, though it's mostly a flat structure. Basically, uh, it demolishes all kind of borders. Right. So, again, you can go to and access the places uh, from anywhere in the world. Yeah. And um, talking about like some people or investors who flip the properties and uh, decide to hold on to this. So they become actually owners and operators. Mm. I think it's a great tool, um, like, first of all, to advertise. And for example, during COVID, I actually experienced uh, such a situation when people decided um, to basically uh, keep the budget um, and don't spend money on capital improvement, mm. but still continue to advertise. For example, if we're talking about uh, commercial real estate owners. Uh, so basically we created um, a virtual walkthrough of the white box space, a virtual walkthrough of the design space, a promotional video. This is what everything that you can do like i'm just naming different applications and there are people mm -hmm. who do it right out there and you actually have all the tools uh, in your um, um, arsenal to go out there and advertise and get clients um, get known you know and present uh, the best work you invest so many efforts and so much time into yeah yeah for sure and mm -hmm. I, I mean i even see a use case here for um for leasing uh because i mean you know, multifamily, you take a picture of the unit, uh, and depending upon how uh, labor intensive this is. I, I've never done this myself, so I don't know how much of a setup um, there is. Mm -hmm. But if it's, if it's relatively easy, it, it would be easy to uh, to use that to lease up a new property. You could add it in the processes for your property manager to just go in mm -hmm. there, you know, snap a 360 of it and then uh, then put that in the listing when you put it up online. Uh, yeah, and also for uh, real estate owners, I would recommend to use uh, like 360 scanning because, for example, if um, if you build an HVAC system, right, like a building system, we're talking about MEPS, right? So basically, there is such a difficult convoluted system that isn't put it into the building. So basically, you have to put uh, to create tags and save them because later on there will be a new building manager who will come in and operate. Yes, there is like a very thick book, like a Bible of manual of how to use it. But basically, uh, if you have this uh, kind of uh, 3D model, you can use this as a as built drawings instead of as built drawings or in addition to that as a visual, nice. right? Yeah, so, and I think talking about like listings and real estate, so I actually experienced and I noticed this thing. So in one building, there were like several residential units in the same line. And I think uh, these 3D services actually uh, help people to create really good content for their listings. And yeah. the yeah. better the content, uh, there will be more viewers and there will be more um, open houses. Yep. So you can get uh, your property sold really faster. Yep. Yeah, I always say it. Uh, real estate is first and foremost a marketing game. Um, I love real estate and there's a lot of physicality to it, but it always starts with marketing. 
So it sounds like this would be a great tool for any uh, anybody who wants to market pretty much any aspect. I mean, you want to raise capital, this would be a good way to to sell your idea, sell your project. If you want to get a new lease uh, or lease up a property, this would be a good way to do that. Um, pr uh, plan out your your rehab. Uh, be, that would also help you out with that. So I see a lot of use cases here, and I love it. Um, I don't want to I don't want to go too far into this, um, but I'm curious. What is your guys's uh, next step? Like, what do you see on the horizon for for 3D rendering um, industry um, itself? So basically, um, I think um, the special thing about the team, and I think we will continue to involve in this uh, direction, is not only being like 3D artists, but also designers and architects that who we have on board. And I'm an architect by the background. So basically, I think we save uh, time for potential clients. Um, and I think I would like, in terms of like uh, clients, I would go to people who have different uh, fields of expertise, for example, right, like if you're a developer and you have a parcel of land, you don't have to go uh, uh, separately for uh, to the designer to create or imagine uh, the facade of the future building and then go to a 3D artist who will render this for you. So basically, uh, you go for some contractors who can deliver turnkey projects, virtual projects for you. And also we're looking into like, we're based in New York, right? Uh, and we are expanding to, to the South, to the Florida market. And um, as far as you know, like it's very hot right now. And um, I'm in uh, Florida myself um, these days. And I see all these cranes all, all around the city, you know, like, yeah, and Florida's it's really, blown up. yeah, it's blooming, you know, like the city is blooming and a lot of businesses are coming in. And uh, I truly believe in New York, right? The city has been through several cycles, the same as real estate. I think mm -hmm. this, uh, field is not for people with a very short attention span because <laughs> <laughs> yeah there are many many cycles and you don't get results uh, like right away you have yeah. to be very patient and work really hard and um, hopefully new york will come back as well yep now i've uh, i've been in new york one time but when i went there it just blew my mind it was just so grand so large so uh, i know they're going through a hard time right now but i have no doubt new york will come back for sure um, well, hey, we just blew through our uh, our 15 minute mark, which means I got to push us into the quick question round. Are you ready to go? Wow. OK, I will say yes. <laughs> I don't have too much time. It's, to it's funny because it. I, <laughs> normally I tell all the guests about the quick question round, but I completely spaced when we were talking before this. So you don't know anything about this, which is great because it's going to be completely unscripted. Um, basically, what this is, just a quick question round. I'm going to ask you quick questions. Um, you know, you won't have a problem answering them and then you give me quick responses and uh, we'll do it like that. Sound good? Okay, let's go. All right. It always starts mm -hmm. with books. I'm a big bookie. So give me two book recommendations, one for general life wisdom and then one for real estate in general. Uh, so for wisdom, you know, I'm coming back from uh, from Russia. So read Russian li literature like Dostoevsky or maybe ah. if you know Russian, just uh, we have uh, a really beautiful poetry. And some of the books, uh, they were uh, written like back in 19th century and uh, they're about real life and they're still valid to read and very interesting to read for sure. Nice. You will not lose your, waste your time. And about real estate, um, I'm reading the real estate game actually even now. Um, this is uh, the book that I'm reading. I don't know if you're, no, you can't see because of my background. It's William Porvo, the real estate game. So basically it's a uh, uh, very easy to understand book, um, like about the real estate, the uh, basic rules and about the field itself. It's basically was written by the professor from Harvard. Perfect, and nice. The real estate game and then uh, any Russian literature. I actually just read, uh, well, not just, it was a while ago, but Brothers Karamazov um, from, I think mm -hmm. that's Dostoevsky. Uh, really good mm -hmm. book, so um, good recommendation. Moving on. Um, so the next question, this one is for your younger self. So if you could go back to the Allah who did not know anything about real estate, um, go back to her, look her in the eye and give her one piece of advice moving forward. 
I would just say, um, don't think that it's only about architecture. There are different fields of real estate. There are many stakeholders involved. And I think uh, real estate is uh, for people who are who don't mind to get their hands dirty. You know, like um, you have to be good with the plumber on site and then you can be presenting a brilliant idea to potential investors. So you have to be good at many, many things. So just leave and learn. I love it. Constantly. That, can, that can be applied to anything. I mean, whatever your main focus is going into real estate, don't make it about that one niche. There's so many different facets. So you really do got to expand yourself and, and learn the different areas and aspects of real estate. Um, all right, moving on. And this one is an opportunity for you to flex your muscles and brag a little bit. Um, everybody has wow. <laughs> everybody has strengths. Everybody has things they're good at specifically. So what is it that is your Superman, Superwoman strength? What are you really good at? Um, I, I think that I'm pretty good with people and I deal with people um, every day. And as I have just said that you have to be good with different types of people, right? Like with different talents. And um, you have to understand that every person has his or her own goals and vision. And uh, in order to find this key to these different doors, uh, you have to respect like um, the room the person is coming from. Um, and I think this is the key to success for sure. No, I love that. You absolutely mm -hmm. do need to understand everybody has their own perspective and they have their own goals and desires. So really take that yeah, into consideration it, whenever you're talking yeah, to people. It, yeah, it doesn't mean that the person is wrong. It's just different kind of opinion because um, the person is coming from different experience. And real estate, I think it's not only about being like book smart, it's also about being street smart because um, um, there are so many books, but you really learn uh, by practicing. And I think this is all about real estate and you have to be really strong because real estate has different cycles and you have to be able to adapt like COVID thing, right? Nobody actually expected we were on the top of our uh, like economic game, right? Uh, back in December, but then yeah. March <laughs> came yeah. Yeah, and basically we were all locked in our houses. Yep. It's crazy how uh, things change pretty quickly. That's for sure. All right. And so this is a, this is the second to last question. Um, you know, the United States, the world is a huge place. There's many, you know, thousands, millions of square miles out there. Where is an area I'm not, I usually, I say the United States, but for you, I'm going to say the world since you're from Russia. So what area mm -hmm. in the world, um, are you excited about investing in, about working in real estate in? Uh, for me, it's United States because okay. yes, my roots are coming from Russia, but now I'm focused on the United States because um, my life as an adult um, actually happened here, right? Like uh, uh, my first serious job, like real, like um, me taking a risk of starting my own business. So I think um, this is the direction where I would like to continue to go um, into. And, uh, you know, like, it's very interesting because uh, when I used to do construction management, right, like you have a project and you're basically married to this project for a couple of years and see this beautiful building like rising and growing up. And because we're doing uh, 3D content right now, we constantly face different kinds of projects like from private residences from like dog disneylands right like somewhere in <laughs> hawaii actually we were about like to do like a design massing for this kind of project and you know like i constantly learn and um, i'm happy that um, this kind of flexibility running of your own venture actually mm -hmm. triggered creativity Mm -hmm. uh, like my creativity it's not just like a rat race when you are like working certain hours like delivering a certain project it triggers you and makes you think creatively in different directions like meeting new people and i'm really really excited about what's happening now and about what's going to happen in the future awesome i love to hear that and i I'd, i would echo that same set sentiment if anybody ever wants to grow start your own business it's the easiest way to grow. It's in, fa in fact, it's impossible not to grow if you start your own business because you're going to be running into things that you did not expect for sure. 
I agree. You know, like for people who run their own business, I always say these people are comfortable being uh, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So true. basically, it's sort of a masochism in some way, but you know, <laughs> like the outcome can be and reward can be unlimited. This is yeah. for sure. Absolutely. All right. This is the last question. Um, and this one's for the viewers. You've given us a lot of, uh, you know, good information about 3D, 3D visualizations and using it in the real estate space. So I'm sure people out there want to reach out, get in contact with you. What is the best way for them to do that? Just shoot me an email. Uh, it's easy. It's a double -L, l a at a o design lab.com. And also you can visit our website and see what we do. It's basically o design lab.com. Uh, so if you have a chance and spare a minute, just um, go to our website and reach out to me. All right. Sounds good. And I will put that link in the show notes. So if you guys see the little more in the description, click that bad boy. It'll pop, pop down the full description. And in there, you'll be able to find Allah's link. So Allah, again, thank you very much for on, hopping on the show. I had a pleasure doing this. Thank you very much, Gabriel. It was my absolute pleasure. To many yeah. more <laughs> there meetings you go. in the future. <laughs> There you go. And for everybody who's here with us today, thank you guys for showing up. You are the reason that we do this. So we appreciate having you here. As always, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, reach out to me personally at the real estate investing club.com. Other than that, hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic week. Keep rocking real estate. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I enjoyed putting it on and were able to pull some actionable advice that you can apply in your own investing today in the field. Before you go, we have a gift for you. If you're a new investor looking to get started or an established investor looking to invest, take your investing to the next level. I've created an ebook just for you available on our website. This ebook ebook will cover how I was able to create both active and passive income in real estate with very little money to start with. In it, I will address the three most often cited obstacles new and veteran investors run into by showing you how to find deals that are actually deals, how to finance a deal with little to no money down, and how to exit those deals for maximum value. And if you get the ebook today, I am throwing in a bundle of bonuses, seven of them to be exact. The first one will be the off-market lead generation blueprint, which will take you through the exact systems and processes we use to generate off-market leads like, clock, like clockwork, which is the most important skill when it comes to creating wealth in real estate. The second bonus is the A to Z REI systems and vendors guide, which will allow you to peek under the hood of our business and see the exact tools, systems, and even the vendors we use to see the success that we do. And the third bonus is the top 100 best performing keywords pack, which is which will give you the exact keywords we use to target motivated sellers online using PPC ads. The fourth bundle is, or the first fourth bonus is our contracts bundle for wholesaling and renting real estate, which will give you access to all the contracts we use in the field to execute all different types of transactions. After that is the investor's quick analysis calculator and offer tool, which will allow you to quickly calculate whether a deal is an actual deal and will allow you to create an offer automatically with, from those calculations. This is a lot of uh, a lot of bonuses that I said. I'm just going to keep going down the list. Number six is the investor's daily success tracker, which is a tracker you can use to ensure you are taking the right actions day in and day out to reach your financial goals in real estate. And the last bonus is the wholesalers template for quick assignment cash, which will give you the templates we use to present our wholesale deals professionally and efficiently to our buyers. Whew, that is a bundle. So it's a mouthful. You get all of those bonuses for free when you download the ebook. All we charge is the admin cost to run the show. So if you're interested in the ebook and the bonus bundle, head on over to the website at therealestateinvestingclub.com. Click on get the ebook bundle at the top of the page to take advantage of that deal. And with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and even better week. Keep rocking real estate. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.